Spence over here reminiscing about his relationship with Esme. Do y'all think they will eventually hook up again? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chessie. This for General Hospital, June 30th, 2023. Okay, so look here. Fans are speculating that Spencer and Esme are going to hook up again. That she's working him. I say, I will say that she is working him. You can tell she she working him or whatever. Has she got enough memory back? Did she have her memory the entire time? We don't know. All we know is she definitely working him. They keep showing little signs that she's trying to get him on her side or whatever. Like the hallway situation. Like um, when she kept interrupting him and Trina. And I say, yeah, she definitely trying to play them. She definitely is playing. I ain't going to say trying. And he over here sitting and they talking about saying, yeah, um, we was together for, what, what he said, a year? Basically a year or something like that. I said, I don't care how long y'all was together. I said, how is Spencer and this new uh, Esme, allegedly, because she look like she still got a memory to me. But how is they making more progress than him and Trina? They always arguing about something. Well, usually the same thing, Esme or Eda Dix. But yeah, um, he was telling Esme about what happened with, with the fight with uh, Dex. And she was like, she had a good point, though. She was like, shouldn't you be mad at Jocelyn then? And I was like, right, because technically she the one who cheated on her boyfriend. She cheated on Cameron. But yeah, uh, then they started talking about boarding school. She wanted to know what was their relationship like and all this other stuff. He spoke to her, um, I ain't got time to talk about that. I'm, uh, I mean, ain't him and Trina a girlfriend and boyfriend? Ain't they in a, a couple or something? <laughs> I was like... Look, you're supposed to set boundaries. You're supposed to set boundaries. But, yeah, Trina could hear hear um, him telling Esme to get out and everything. And I said, yeah, that's enough to make her walk away from him because it is too much. So we study every time you turn around, every time y'all try to spend time together, she want to pop up and she need help. Now, how she spend all that time, you can tell she working him because how you spend all that time saying how you, y'all don't trust me, I'm going to take my son and run. She always threatening to leave town and stuff. <laughs> She be threatening to leave town. How you go from threatening to leave town 20 times? Every time we see you, you threatening to leave town. Or you don't trust me. You trying to take my baby away. <laughs> to saying, oh, Spencer, I need your help. Oh, where's his binky? Where's his toy? Where's this? And all that. Come on now. <laughs> you know she working him. And he going to fall for it. He going to fall for it. You can tell. Either he going to fall for it or he going to almost fall for it. Because uh, who knows? Maybe they going to catch her. Somebody going to catch her slipping. Or something going to make her... Uh, reveal that she knows more than what she's what she's saying or whatever but yeah she seemed like she up to her old tricks to me but yeah he over here they chilling and stuff <laughs> but yeah she was just trying to take care of spencer and talking about if, if something happened you would about ace and all this other stuff but you say you don't need his help and he's just the uh brother he's not the parent and all this so she contradicting herself really though but uh who we gonna talk about next we get elizabeth and finn out the way because ain't nothing going on there except uh violet keep trying to get them together back together and i said i don't know i don't know um out of everybody that elizabeth has been with do y'all like finn do y'all like uh what was his name franco jason lucky or nicholas i can't remember the other people but them all the ones i um lucky and her was tolerable i liked them together i think from what I remember. But the one I liked it. And I know it's a lot of people going to disagree with me. <laughs> but when I first started watching General Hospital. Elizabeth was. Uh, I think she she was with Jason at the time. <coughs> Excuse me. She was with Jason at the time. And I was like I don't know. I just liked them together. I liked the Elizabeth and Jason together. Like I did. But I always feel like he always returned to Sam though. It was just, just Sam. It was always them. I was against him and Carla being together, but then when you thought about it, when I thought about it or whatever, I was like, okay, they best friends. He will really um, choose her over everybody, including his own children. So, you know, once they start doing the little wedding thing and stuff, I was like, okay. I said, I don't want to get on board with this, but I will. So, I don't know. I really don't know. But Elizabeth with Finn, it just, it's not interesting to me. It's not. Another one is Austin and Ava. I said, they ain't interesting to me either. And like, I knew they would eventually hook up. But it's crazy for her to hook up with him. How you hook up with this man? And he just fake kidnap your daughter. <laughs> he just fake grab your daughter or whatever. So how you hook up with him? I don't understand. And I feel like he working her as well. Look, Esme working Spencer. And Austin is working her. <laughs> he working her. He know more than he's saying. He probably um, already knew about Sonny and all this other stuff. That's why he started trying to help her. He probably the one told Mason about the, about Nicholas or something. Who knows at this point. But yeah, they still talking like Nicholas dead. They don't know that he's still alive. I feel like Austin knows. I feel like he know more than what he's saying. Because he did a complete 360. He ain't acting like somebody that's scared. He acting like somebody that know more, more than what they saying. That's to me. 
But uh, yeah, Austin and Ava slept together. I had wrote down. I said I actually liked Ava and Nicholas together. I liked them together, but of course they had to go um, showing this crazy storyline again about Esme and, and Nicholas hooking up and all this stuff. Sasha and Sonny. So basically, none was going on there either. He was basically talking to her about um, Gladys and ending her guardianship. And he was saying, basically, if she's ready, then she should end it. But if she she isn't ready, then maybe she should, you know, deal with it for a few more months or whatever. But yeah, they she I think she finna get ready to end it. If that's if that doctor do, because we still don't know what favor he wanted. What did he want? They never revealed. I just thought about that. They didn't never show what that man. Remember when he was like he was talking to Gladys and he was like he he can clear her debt, but he needs a favor. And they never showed. And I said, what favor do he need? We don't know yet. We don't know. They're probably going to do a flashback or something. I think they showed Gladys to, on tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Monday's episode. Trina and Portia was talking about Curtis at first. And Trina was questioning Portia about, you know, forgiving Curtis. And uh, how you letting them off the hook that fast. And basically Portia said, that's none of your business. <laughs> then turned around. She basically said, it's none of your business. She grown. That's her marriage or whatever, which is true. Then she turned around and got in, in Trina's business. Now, that is her child, and I get that. And people are saying they don't see nothing wrong with how Portia has been acting because they, she trying to protect her daughter. But the thing is, the the extreme measures she be going to going through, I mean, she ain't did nothing yet. She's just trying to convince. First, she was trying to convince Esme to leave town so Spencer could follow. Then she sit up here and trying to get them to spend more time together and stuff so Trina can feel some type of way or they could get closer. So she knows what she's doing. She trying to, technically, she's trying to break them up so i would say she is doing too much too much because all she had to do was wait because spencer his obsession with getting ace away from esme look another thing is he been so obsessed sorry for yelling y'all <laughs> he been so obsessed with getting his brother from esme now he over here chilling and stuff reminiscing about the good old days <laughs> and everything with her so yeah i said all you all she had to do was wait she ain't had to do nothing she ain't had to interfere because now that's gonna make her look bad because why are you trying to break your daughter up from her boyfriend and stuff you should have just waited because his obsession. And now I forgot. I don't think I said this yesterday, but uh, now Trina knows that Spencer kept the uh, kept the uh, proof, the fake proof, the also proof, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, well, yeah, they was talking about Spencer again. And she was trying to get her to see to keep her options open. And she got a life to live, which is true because you can't just be so focused on him when he ain't even trying. He he been acting different, and um, I ain't gonna say completely different because he still been acting obsessed over getting Ace from Esme, but. The difference between how he was acting when they was on the uh, on the hunting star and now, like from when the time they came back, how he just tapped on the shoulder and walked away or rolled the shoulder, whatever he did, then hug or nothing. Whether he was trying to respect her parents or not, he he could have did more than that. He could have hugged and said, "If you need anything, if you need me, to stay. I stay." Something like that. Why do you need to be there when your mama, or not your mama, your grandma now is there and everything? So yeah, and he ain't seeing how his actions is gonna cost him Trina. He ain't. But uh, people are saying, Trina, go get your man, and you better call your man and all that. No, he need to do better. I mean, they both could do better, but he definitely, he need to, uh, he could still be a big brother to his brother. <laughs> be a brother to his brother without abandoning his relationship with Trina, especially since they just got together. They just got together. But then you got Jordan now. So, Zeke called because he wanted, I think he wanted to uh, go out to dinner with her, and she basically told him no and all that she mad because he snitched but uh wouldn't you it's like what he said like wouldn't you want to tell your sibling if you knew that i said i'd be conflicted but i still had to tell though <laughs> but um so then curtis stops by he want to know why she told and questioning her she said she didn't tell she said your brother-in-law did then zeke comes and then he curtis feel, figures out that they was together then he said i don't care i don't care about what y'all do but i do care about my daughter because that is my business and all that stuff and I said, well, which is true. Z didn't have no right, I feel like, to tell him, to tell his niece not to have nothing to do with her father, you know. But I don't know. I've seen a lot of people saying that they feel like Trina should have mind her business about the marriage. And they feel like Z should have mind his business about uh, what he said to Trina and stuff like that. Uh, I already said Ava and Austin. They ain't got nothing going on. But that's it, y'all. Let me know down below what y'all thought of this episode. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, deuces. Need weekly encouraging messages? Sign up for the DLC Crew Test Club today. The sign up link will be available in the description below. It's in the Day Jones Learn Account store, basically. It will be a one time fee of ten dollars. It says, Welcome to the DLC Crew Test Club. You'll be able you'll be able to receive weekly encouraging messages to your phone number that you sign up with by texting the keyword to the number provided. 
Once purchase is made, you will be able to download the photo that contains the keyword. You will have to text to join. You receive four encouraging text messages per month at random. I hope that these messages inspire you. Again, it's a one-time fee of ten dollars. The store link, the Dayton Learn account store link, will be in the description below. A one-time fee of ten dollars. Sign up today.